tell us what you're going to do if we were to reward you with 50,000 Rand in cash. We will spend the 15,000 towards participating at the Teban Art Fair because that's a platform that I already understand. Does that mean that you've exhibited at the Art Fair? South Africa is a zinc and a pezzo, Lumagusa will include the Lena visual art, Kona Lana will a continent as Africa. Got you again in Kunda, Ianza, Imaleva, two billion every year. Got up in the Kumbulo, which Lom Kakalona, Unas is in company as in Nani, as the Safu Fus. In English, in company as seven, I want again in Kunda Len, Zonagi, Zipe to a Kulugazi, Abanto Abam shop. Utangi and Jungle Summer business or Safu Fus on Nan, Yena Utbona, which would look at Nigas, Etuba, Bonagi, Lava Seven, I go on again in Kunda Len, Abangas. Kona ke bona bezo kwazi ukukhangisa ngomsebenzi wabo muhla ba wenzayo. Sikita Usu, who got your Anke Gallery, as a orange crew, who found a band in Kayo Belen Kundalen, here at Eat in Nandi Moba, Ea Fundisa, Ea Jablisa, and Ea Kalani Peace. She later joins Pepsi in studio to share challenges facing young artists and the slow growth of her business. Is your passion for art giving you an income? Not at the moment. Well, how much is your most expensive piece? was about 97. 97? My name is Tengi Lagati, founder of Joanke Contemporary Art Gallery. At Joanke, we sell and market young South African contemporary art. In our range, you'll find a diverse collection of um, social commentary art, political commentary, as well as pop. Just a reminder to be inspired by art. So whether you are looking for a different form of expression, simply luxury, or to fill up an empty wall, we will get the best South African contemporary art for you. They are in it for the long haul. business like. Pleasure to meet you. Masinga never. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Lena, it's more about um, the hardships. Uguba, uguba, umama. In school, man, ngongoskas, guti, ngongoskas, yipi role. I, I lala yogo society. Yogba umama, yogba usiso mundi, yogba ngongoskas yomundi. All right, I know. Muso ni angu mega. What was this thing you? When they marketing. What was it? Usu sevenza lagu visual arts. Kuzegaja, 
ngoba ne marketing in visual arts mm -hmm. kuphela nje ukuthi nge marketing nange advertising uthengisa lobu ku visual you know emaphepheni mm -hmm. o ku tv kodwa le ihlukile ngoba ukucabanga kwakhona tathi isikhathi and le isitshela you know nokokuthi kwenzakalana emphakathini so ukwazi nokwazi about different cultures mm -hmm. you know nge, nge art iyo nento engithanda kakhulu yeah how are you planning to make sure the business lakho ale intenga ente ngihlamba ukuthi nawo lo msebenzi owenzayo uzophuma uye ebantwini ukwazi ukuya futhi ngabanye abantu ngifokasa kakhulu kula ma artist eng 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 engisebenzisana nabo and ngoba ngine background ye marketing ne advertising so ngiyengicini mm -hmm. sekaphulu vele ku public relations so that abantu bazokwazi ngale izinto esizenzayo uma hluko we art ela nale ngale sisandulo uyibona imuphi uma hluko nje le subject i artist eyithathile for instance mawubheka lo msebenzi lo lo ukhuluma nge social media ukhuluma ngabantwana abancane aba aba abathandana na na nabo baba aba abadala so i art i imnandi ngoba iyafundisa iyajablisa and iyahlaka ne peace thank you msebenzi sana nama artist asafufusa Yini enye into ekwenza ukuthi uthanda ukusebenza nabo kangako ngaphandle ukuthi hayi ubambisana nabo nje kuphela. Ama artists amancane njengengane ngane baneqiniso bakhuluma iqiniso bakhuluma le ndaba ayibonayo nokokuthi njengoba ubona nje nawe lo msebenzi u colorful u represent the way bangakhona. I had work but I didn't know where to take it to. So and then when I spoke to Andy, he referred me to Tlingiwe, got the numbers, I called him. Then the relationship started, you know. Our relationship, I think, is working. Because she keeps her work as much as I, I would like her to keep it. You know, sometimes other people could hold your work where you could have made sales and they keep it for long and they can't make sales. Because sales, they, they do have an importance. Because it's not all about the money, but everything is about money, you know. She'll get there. I have faith in her. Plus, you know, she doesn't give up easy. So, I mean, who does what? You delegate her and you know, when you call Zonki, or when Zonki is it? Ntoga Zonki, or go to Tango Mundo, and I as a gallery assistant. You know, so go by here and like, oh, to mail my email, or when I social media, if you mail what is updated, you page it to the social media, go to see a bambi sana le na le. Ekaya mankula. Umamkulu yena bega yenza ma bidworks, so ngakalu tanda i at and manchanga na nusheni we futi, usheni we yena yazira kulu nge at. Bengsa se college in manchalu seven zalang, and it was all about the money. Ubona lim seven zala wabantu ukshala no usheni we lana ubona seven zala yenza zongele zinto zinza yo. Our organizer ma art forums and exhibitions. In ends of which you fun ukatelela i diploma yam. En na ukatelela nte ngabu ya lana ngakubega nom sevens. So ok sevens alana it's very inspiring. Lana gisu go mama ni ingani. Sego iti nanjal, kutoa ile, pengi tanda kuhul ngoba, again yona enzi wanga ma, ngama artista manga ni ngama artista ang togo zisai. Uye na gumtu ebi walum sevenzi. I'm good man. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good man. This is your work, right? Yes, it is. I portray art as in my my situation of growing up. So you know when you're hungry for for days, each and everything that comes, you just appreciate. Mm -hmm. Whatever that comes, so you can see they have this appreciation, but then they they, they cannot show it facially, you see, because then they've been so hungry. And how has it been with you exhibiting and putting your work, you know, here where we are today? Yes, I'm thankful that uh, I got an, a chance to exhibit my work, because then I never thought uh, I would go this big. So I think that she has done a great job for me. Yeah, beautiful work, man. Thanks. Enjoying it. I love this piece, actually. Yeah, there's something about that. I'm doing that. Nim sevens yala yala ekai asu tengi si tu nim sevens o below six point five. So long apis o six point five. 
I'm trying to figure it out. Your, your, your first reasoning was you need to get more artists. It sounds like you don't need more artists, you need more customers. Promoting local visual and contemporary artworks is Kenya's main priority. Umangabe yenage enes kati uye street efu na uktolage abanta bashagi bana bana li talento guo nagelum kakalo. Siya sa kita is kati na banta bama ziga banzo guze basta zelo gu tusengi wongu munto njani. Person. Um, she loves people and she doesn't give up. Relationship um, it's a normal daughter mother relationship. Um, I think so that makes it interesting, I guess. Uba, she no makes it interesting, I guess. no makes it interesting, I guess. of each other because we are She's an amazing mother. She inspires me. I want to be a father too one day, but yeah, I look up to her. Sometimes we play together, sometimes we watch movies together. Yes, this cat is here, Pume Nomdanam is here. Uh, exclusive books, your funding money. I feel like her life, in a way, should o should almost be like be displayed somewhere, nyana, or like you know, just to be an example for these modern women, or like Emma, you can be a mother and be able to do whatever it is, in order like in life. What makes my mom happy is when I listen to her and I behave. You know, so understand you know, um, and Nabantu as well, other than just people by young Chabis. Umaya Kula Ushengiwe. Well, ukale eshala engena i i i crash a perflam at a sibas that is in vendor. So, what is cut because of ama problems of slang and now wahamba or shaliswas in Masala no babuike? Impilayam was very, it was a simple childhood. In case no babami, just the two of us for. Is cut a seat, so one night I would think Unzas would be more bani because one who made that opportunity, you were with him, and who made a good thing about Mutan Funabaya. Like a Kulumanami, like his contemporary, you know, a busy sea, sea, or the Um Tanavelle Okule, a Sengons and Noma being a Koguya being fair and my whole days, no man in London and my whole days, I began in that event of Nangalis was cut being seven eleven. Well, Umama Begala in South Africa, so Bega, it will either we have Vagasha or Nia Vagasha, so it was always, you know, there and there, up and down, but she was always there. Outside work, oh, she's amazing. Uh, very relaxed. Uh, very. The ambition is there. Oh, open-minded. I have no stress. Like a lot of like, okay, obviously, we know the issues and all that and everything else. But she approaches them with a very, like, you know, with a very good eye and a positive energy. 
Sit. I, I don't uh, I don't give in you know I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm very resilient um, when I put my mind into something irrespective of, of how long it takes me so I'm, I'm equally a very patient person as well She prides herself in being a catalyst for change in the South African art scene. Sia Satu Totsana Nai, Ukuza Sas, Wutien, Unama Pige, and Masas of Sisa Wutip is like Lissima. Sang Figi Le Studio, Nyasava Gangane, but I think we're going to be all right. And uh, here, I'm going to be grilled. As a creative social entrepreneur, Lenyue established a platform to market and sell young South African contemporary art. Her mission is to have paintings by young South Africans in every home and office across the length and breadth of this country. Let's hear how she plans to achieve this. Lenyue, do you mean me? You look lovely. Thank Welcome you. to Making Moves. Thank Are you, you a little bit nervous? Absolutely. And you should be because I'm going to ask you some difficult questions. They told me so. <laughs> they told you so. Okay. So let's start with whether this is a business or a hobby. It's definitely a business. Why is it a business? It's a business because I'm passionate about it. Um, I'm passionate about creativity. I believe that creativity moves us forward. Okay. So I'm passionate about riding bicycles very passionate about it. Does that make it a business? It's a hobby. You can. You can make an art fair for cyclists. Yeah. You, you know, it can bring you income, and from that income you can be able to buy more bikes, you know, for other kids in rural areas, you okay. know, so your passion can derive into a business. Okay, so is your passion for art giving you an income? Not at the moment. Okay, why do you think that is? I'm not sure, really. You know, I think it's uh, some of the answers that I'm trying to find out myself. You know, um, I can't pinpoint anything specific at the moment other than the fact that perhaps I need to work harder. Okay. What are the three reasons that you think this business is not working yet? I think um, I need to put more effort into establishing a database of young South African contemporary artists. And I think there's also a great need for me to establish the gallery, you know, um, online, which is one of my goals, I think, for the next couple of years. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. You, you, <laughs> your, your first reasoning was you need to get more artists. It sounds like you don't need more artists, you need more customers. I believe so, or I believe it, it, it works in both ways. Okay. I think your focus is all wrong. If you have a distribution platform, artists will come. It's not like there are lots of places clamoring to get their work. I think your primary focus needs to be on getting the customers. So how are you planning to get the customers? So one thing you said was you plan to go online. What else? I also want to increase the frequency of exhibitions at the, at the gallery. You know, um, and I believe that from creating more activities, you know, potential buyers will start uh, paying attention and I'll be able to, to attract them. And also making sure that the work that is um, sold or marketed, you know, through the gallery, it's of high quality as well. Okay, so you want to increase the number of exhibitions that you have at your gallery Absolutely. in Orange Grove, Johannesburg? Yes. Okay, so who's your market? Who are these people that you want to come and buy art? Uh, it's, 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 um, you know, the, the baby boomers audience, you know, um, people who are, who are established, you know, um, people who have an understanding of art, lifestyle and fashion, and uh, people who actually value, you know, uh, some of the finer things in life, you know, so I think it's, it's in one way or the other, it's people who can be able to, to afford art and who have a different perception of art. Okay, so uh, if I'm a baby boomer, how old am I? 
you probably like in your uh, from mid 40s to 50s. Okay, so from mid 40s to 50s is baby boomers. They are established. Are they black or white? Irrespective. Irrespective. But are you not then competing? Those are the same people that all art galleries are competing for. Absolutely. Okay, so what makes yours different? Mine, we sell young South African contemporary art and simply because of their potential to mature. So there is uh, a kind of guarantee, you know, when you invest in young South African contemporary art that they will mature at a later stage. Okay, so now let's work this thing out because I'm still not convinced you have a business, which is why you have a job and you have to do this business on the side. Yes. And I think it's fantastic. Keep on working while you build the business on the side. But there needs to be another plan. I'm not convinced. So what's the plan? The plan, I think, my plan is definitely to improve in the quality, to make sure that the quality of the works that we sell and the artists that we promote at the gallery are one who are potentially pioneers, you know, because what I have noted is that um, collectors buy work that is potentially um, shift consciousness. Is it at least cheap? It's affordable. Okay, like how much is your most expensive piece? Well, uh, the most <laughs> expensive piece that I once um, tried to sell at the gallery was about 97. Okay. Sure. 97,000? It was a political piece. Yeah, yeah but I mean, so did somebody buy it? No. No, okay. So that sounds like it might be a bit too expensive for an unknown artist. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, okay. It was one of the, one of the learning curves. Okay. So, so, so what, what's your average piece selling at now? Uh, average maybe 6.5. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now that sounds a bit better. You, I feel like you're focusing on the wrong thing. Um, improving the quality of the art that you sell, getting on more artists, supporting more artists. That's fantastic, but it's secondary. Okay. You're establishing a business. If you don't have customers, it doesn't matter how great the yeah, artists that you've got are. And I'm not convinced. I feel like if you don't get your head out of the sand, you're not going to have a business in six months. Yes, so I can't take this conversation any further until you have some sort of a plan about how you plan to get this art out to the public. So I'm going to send you off to go spend some time with a friend of mine who is a marketing guru. Okay. And hopefully the two of you can work out a plan. And when you come and talk to us tomorrow, you'll come back with something a little bit more substantial. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate. All right. Visual and contemporary art is still very much elitist and commercially driven. However, Tlenyu is determined to change that picture. Hence, we've organized a coaching session with Antoinette Profi, who's perhaps going to help her put together some sort of strategy to turn what is still a passion and a hobby into a sustainable business. I feel very grateful for this opportunity because I think that uh, Pepsi um, unraveled something that I wasn't necessarily paying attention to. You know, so I'm I'm really looking forward to the to the next session because at the moment I just feel like a newborn child, to be honest. So if you can have an art exhibition around fees must fall, around xenophobia, around the major issues that face South Africa, right? Because these are young contemporaries. Are your artists addressing that? There is a serious lack of art appreciation by the public in the country. When I jungle some business, Kumele Ushal and Jalo and Jonum Sant, Musevens are going to get on Kakalo. Ila Konaga making moves in Genacon. Sick Patella Umkesh, also Xis and the business lack up in the Futagnes in the bees. I'm Antoinette Profi from Afrofusion Advertising and Marketing. I've been in business for over 10 years and I started Afrofusion in my mother's lounge with a laptop and 200 Rand. And I've grown it to 60 people 
um, and based in four ways at the moment. We are a full service agency with a strong focus on strategy. So we take our clients through a consultative process uh, where we look at what their business needs are, we look at their communication needs and we tie the two up in terms of strategy. And from there we implement be it above the line, below the line or branding activities that strategy indicates the client needs. I've made tons of mistakes over the years. I have failed colossally from an expansion to East Africa to trying to acquire another ad agency. And I really think it's that experience that I'll bring to the Making Moves entrepreneurs. I'll definitely be encouraging the Making Moves entrepreneurs to take risks, calculated obviously, and to just not be afraid to fail. Let's not wait on government. If you have a dream, if you have a vision for your life, just do it. The key challenge is um, identifying and attracting customers to, to the gallery, okay. you know. Um, getting more activities happening that could actually attract um, an economic buying foot into, into the gallery. That's my biggest challenge. I know that you're based in Orange Grove at the moment. Is that a good location? It's a very cosmopolitan area. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get various uh, types of people, you know, and Orange Grove is a corridor to so many affluent areas like Kilani, Houghton, Rosebank, you know, Sindringham Observatory, you know, mm -hmm. th those are all areas that are within a hundred meter radius, you know, from me. So it's 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 the kind of opportunity I believe that uh, Joanga being based in Orange Grove has. I think Shlingiwe has a fantastic opportunity to play in the commercially viable um, gallery space. Um, but because she's not 100% committed to her business, she can't see the opportunities. So if you can have an art exhibition around fees must fall, around xenophobia, around the major issues that face South Africa, right? Because these are young contemporaries. Are your artists addressing that? It's one of the key things that I look at when, uh, when, uh, when, when the gallery makes a decision to get involved with the artist, that, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, the subject must, it must have a very strong social commentary. Okay. It must have a very strong political commentary. But at the same time, we also, you know, accommodate uh, the buyer who wants to buy art for the sake of luxury or just filling an empty space, which is pop, pop art, you know. Um, the challenge again has been like, how do I get internet mm. to come and engage with this subject at Joange Gallery? So perhaps you bring um, art into your space and you bring poets into the space and you host events over the weekend. And possibly that can be a fundraiser towards the kids at Vits, etc., etc., right? But I think if we take a step back, the fact that you have a permanent job at the moment. I feel takes away from your ability to identify these opportunities. I think it balegi lego wangu muntu kutu ukomite. You know, got a yeah, my situations where to, you know, ano ano kluga got a yonde engi fise layo ku business ya. What I would suggest to Shlingiwe is that perhaps she uses her full time employment to create a bit of savings. Um, so that she is comfortable when she comes back into the business full-time. And full-time for me means 100%. Because if you were soaked in your business, if all you did was eat, sleep, drink the gallery every single day, then you would think about the things that I'm talking about now. Absolutely. Right? South Africa is tiny. If you looked at the continent, have, have you looked at having an exhibition in Nigeria, in Kenya, in Tanzania? Right? Have you looked at an online presence where people can go and purchase your art? Again, back to the fees must fall. We had London and New York participate in the, in the marches, right? So is there an opportunity for you to further the conversation, have your um, artwork online, and those guys that participated in the marches um, internationally could possibly buy art? But do you see how it all ties in? Absolutely. 
Um, but again, you're only really able to do this once you commit yourself to your business 100%. Um, she's been in business for two years, right? So the fact that she's now at a place where she's saying no more excuses is a fantastic place to be at because that shows accountability. It's about the artist for you more than it is about selling the art, right? It's about nurturing the artist and creating a platform for them. Now you need to look at who you're selling to. How do you get those feeds into the gallery? Yeah, that has been my challenge. And that it's been my big challenge. It's really simple. You say to me, I'm going to have a Lebo Mashile, a Tandiswa Mazwai, um, and I'm going to have art that speaks to the fees must fall on a Saturday afternoon. I'm there. That's how you get me out of four ways. <laughs> I'm there, and if I have to pay 500 rand to be there, I'll be there. My level of good say, activities, ne nezin things in Zayo, a galar, no good mele good nyenze, ama activities, akuluma with current affairs so so that abantu bazokwazi ukubona ukuthi vele vele le gallery ino bu conscious and then izokwazi ukuattract nabantu abangathi ngumsebenzi making moves as a prize valued at 50000 rand to invest into a business 12 young entrepreneurs will get a chance to showcase their businesses each entrepreneur will be given a chance to pitch for this investment to our panel of judges the judges will use their own discretion to pick the top four businesses to go into our final episode where they will compete for this grand prize you too can be part of this exciting opportunity for young entrepreneurs Sisi <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Pessy. How are Fantastic. you? Fantastic. Welcome back to Making Moves. You have got four minutes to pitch your business. Tell us what you're going to do if we were to reward you with 50,000 Rand in cash. And your four minutes starts right away. Joe Anger is a small art gallery uh, established in 2013 for the purpose of selling young South African contemporary art. In our range, you'll find um, a very diverse collection of artworks that are a mix of social commentary, political commentary, as well as pop. Jo Anke was established by myself, Lingwe Vilagati. I'm an advertising executive, recently named Malian Gardens 200 Young South Africans. I've worked part-time at the Johannesburg Art Fair as a form of training for myself to venture myself into the arts. And recently, I facilitated the Young South African Artist Talk at the Teban Art Fair 2015. Our range is aimed at um, an audience that understands art, that understands fashion, that understands lifestyle. So we're looking at the mass affluent, we're looking at young professionals, and we're also looking at the general public that needs to be educated about our culture and who we are. So whether you are in need of a different form of expression, you're simply looking for luxury, or you just want to fill up an empty wall, you're more than welcome to give Joanke a call and we'll find the absolute collection that can suit your needs. Recently, Joanke, we, we launched a financial literacy forum called Fin Art, which is designed to, to educate young creative professionals in financial literacy, irrespective of their prior knowledge in finance. And that is the main goal of that is actually to create sustainability within the creative sector. So our 
high uh, priority goals at the moment for, for the art gallery as a young business. They are quite very simple. We're looking at reaching the mass affluent market so that we can improve our business. We're looking at increasing our activities to improve ourselves. But we're mostly looking at increasing the gallery's recognition through online presence, which is our, our main priority at the moment. With our proposal for today and the offer that we could stand to, to win is that we're looking at um, the 15,000, we'll spend the 15,000 towards participating at the Teban Art Fair because that's a platform that I already understand. It's a platform that I've been involved with as well. We will then allocate 9,600 of that amount into a monthly catalog, which is also going to be distributed through online platforms and also our web management for a period of 24 months. And with the remaining 24,000, we have looked at, the at a digital strategy for Google AdWords and social media advertising for a period of 24 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Fantastic mm -hmm. presentation. You've got a minute and 20 seconds left. You have the option of using it, or we can go straight into the question and answer. I'd appreciate your questions. OK. On my right is uh, Martine. Martine comes from the world of financial services. She potentially has a few questions. Thank you, thanks very much. A very good presentation. The Turbine Art Fair, um, you said you had quite a bit of exposure into that already. Does that mean that you've exhibited at the Art Fair? Not, not yet. Um, the, the intention is to exhibit at the Teban Art Fair because the Teban Art Fair focuses on young South African contemporary yes. art. So it's a brilliant platform for Joanke Gallery. What I did this year was to facilitate talks for young South African emerging artists that are actually making it in, in the Joburg scene. So that was actually uh, a fantastic platform for myself and Joanke to introduce ourselves into the Teban Art Fair audience. So what I'm trying to understand from an investor's perspective is what return on investment did they get from spending the 15,000 rands? You get exposure to an international market you get to sell at least 50% of your artworks that are exhibited at the art fair. And you also get to uh, create exposure for the artist as well and, and increase their uh, buying value. Okay. okay, fair enough. Thank you, Klen Yue. Antoinette, any questions? Will the 50,000 Rand investment help you exit your employment at the moment and focus on the business 100%? I don't suppose so at this point because generally the art business, I don't find it to be quite a very, very easy business. So mm -hmm. I believe that there's still at least an investment of five years that I have to put, you know, financially, especially with Google AdWords and now that I've got a digital strategist working with me. And if I match that with PR and allow myself, you know, at least for the next five years to be, you know, attend more art fairs, you know, exhibit more artists, I believe that Within, within that time frame, you know, it, it will be a good time to, to exit, but I generally don't think that at the moment it might make sense. So five years before you can exit? I'm committed. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, thank you, man. Do you think you've got a business or an NGO? Mm. I've got a business. Okay. Would you consider it being an NGO? I have already registered for it to be an NGO. Okay. That, that for me is a much more interesting proposition. Mm -hmm. But our question and answer session is over. Mm -hmm. So we're going to send you off. Please leave the room. We're going to discuss amongst ourselves and then call you back and tell you what the way forward is between yourself and making moves. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think my knees are failing me, but I feel good about it. <laughs> Um, I felt that during my pitch, my tone was slightly shaky, you know, so perhaps training that for future would be a good plus. What's going through the mat? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I there's only one way to find out. Shona kona
All right, so what do you guys think of Slingu as business? Um, Antoinette, you coached and had a mentoring session with her. She checked out of the business, which is a concern for me, right? So I need her to be back in it 100%. And there's a possibility to speak to her employer at the moment from a BE pillar perspective, where they can fund her business, right? Be it through CSI or um, enterprise development. Um, so she's not looking at those opportunities. I think her priority is her daughter and taking care of her and five years before she exits I don't know I don't know guys that is not good enough for me yeah. mm -hmm. and and also you know I'm not, I'm not sure that she's done the necessary research on where the money is going to be spent personally for me I think she'd do phenomenally as, a, as an NGO because she is creating a platform for creatives to you know, exhibit exhibit the art, etc. And and there's funding for that. Mm -hmm. You know, she, and and she could actually earn an income from the NGO and give in full time because I do understand. You know, it's a case of survival of the fittest. I need to be I need to be earning an income in order to to support my my family life. Mm -hmm. But from an NGO perspective, I mean, arts and art, arts and culture. Mm -hmm. There's enough funding in there for her to to tap into. Sis, oh, what fifmule la pants? She would make an excellent Section 21 mm. kind of NGO company um, or an organization. She could raise funding without losing her commercial mm. approach. Um, and a platform like Absolutely. that as an NGO while still selling the art mm -hmm. and building yes. a sustainable kind of social entrepreneurship mm. um, setup mm -hmm. would, would be interesting. Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay, so let's call her back in and we'll give her those three tasks. Okay. Please bring her back in. What's going through the mind? There's only one way to find out. Shona Kona goes with Patty. Yeah, Bonga Bab. Thank you, welcome back. Thank you. How do you think that went? I think it went fairly well, but um, I was a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. So... Um, On a scale of one to 10? I could put it above five. About five? I think Over you did... and above five. <laughs> yeah, I think you did better than five. Mm -hmm. I think you did much better than five. Thank you. Okay, so we have feedback for you. <coughs> Firstly, You've got a very interesting business. Um, your heart is in the right place. Mm -hmm. I wanted to actually ask you a quick question before we continue. Are you interested in making money? Absolutely. You are? Absolutely. Is money important to you? Of course it is. Becoming rich and fabulous, is that part of the plan? Or, or are you interested in making a living and getting by? Money, so I could better the continent or I could contribute something towards bettering the continent. Okay, so not money for yourself, necessarily. Not like Martin. Well, part of it will be for myself. In cash for myself. <laughs> well, okay. I'll have to pack my bag as well. <laughs> um, Jeanette, what feedback have you got for Thingy? I would love for you to go back to your employer and ask them to actually sponsor or assist you full time. So be it through enterprise development or their CSI budgets, so that you can exit and focus on this earlier than five years. Absolutely. Have you tried that? There is a, a program at, at work that, um, unfortunately, when I joined this July, I found that it was towards the initial end, you know, so it's something that I'm looking at for next year. Martin? Thank you, Wei. You mentioned that you've started the process in registering um, an NGO. Yes. I'd like you to 
put a little bit more focus on that. No problem. Um, go through the go through the motions. Get it registered. Get you know, do that. Put a really um, good proposal together for arts and culture. Okay. You really have a good business. I personally believe that you could still earn your living in the business by accessing arts and culture and what they have available to you. Uh, but but it, it'll all depend on the proposal that you put together for them. So from what I hear, you know, you're focusing on emerging artists and you need to bring that into the proposal very strongly so that they understand what you're wanting to do with that. Absolutely. I had, uh, I had gone for that platform, but I guess I uh, went in slightly a bit earlier because the feedback that I got was that at least let me wait until the business has been in existence for two years because they want to um, assess my commitment to it. So that actually what um, I even went to a point of acquiring like an import export certificate, you know, so I could join in in some of the international fairs yes. that, that the government offers for young entrepreneurs. But they required like a, a business that has been in existence. No, I, for... I wouldn't accept that if I were you. Yeah. I would not accept that. And I would go in there quite robustly and say, you need to help me. Absolutely. Don't Thank accept you. the two years. Knock the door down. I'm almost there, so... Knock the door down. Um, thank you. Okay. I will. I love the fact that even if you were a non-profit, you still have the strong commercial objective in terms of selling the art, creating an mm. online platform. So whoever was giving you money would look at making, would look at the sustainability. Mm. And you have a very strong angle towards sustainability, which a lot of non-profits don't have. Leverage the fact that you're in the advertising industry. Mm. I want your next exhibition to be somewhere fancy nyana with all your peers from the world of advertising. Get the advertising executives, the marketing directors, the brand managers. Those are the people. Those people are mass affluent. Mm. Those are the people you should be advertising. You should be inviting to your next exhibition and gallery opening. Is that fair? Big fair. Okay. So we're not going to go forward. So we're not going to ask you to come back um, because we think that there are businesses that could benefit from this money a lot sooner from entrepreneurs that are fully in those businesses on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So for that reason, we're not going to ask you to come back. However, please go and complete these tasks and take your venture to the next level. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. I believe I'll be All seeing you at your houses soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thank you okay. very much. All right. Bye. The judges confirmed what I was telling her yesterday. Firstly, location, location, location. Very important for her to try and figure out how she gets out of Orange Grove into a Maponeng, for instance. creative people out there. Benzani, you know, and, and what does it what does it entail? So you making moves business yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it.